Hello, everybody. Uh, I'll be starting in a minute. So uh, for a long time, like I said, like the camera used to be real, has been really expensive and it takes a long time to scan. It's a, it's, it's, it, the metaphor, the technology is top notch, but it's just kind of the pain in the ass. Um, and, uh, and with Astroom that now you actually can use your phone uh, and it only takes 15 minutes to scan. But the quality is not, it's different. It's not worse than Matterport, right? You guys really, this nice, clean, uh, slick looking uh, 3D dollhouse and a tour. And, uh, and the, the advantage is the advantage of each, each system. For example, you know, like um, Astrum, we can scan outdoor. Um, you can get, outdoor is a big part, especially if you have living somewhere with a nice yard, you have a swimming pool that you want just people to see it from the floor, from the dollhouse. Right, and then we can we can do that. Um, so, what are people saying about Astro Room? Right, so um, we were number one best seller in digital camera on Amazon before we sold out. Uh, we got fantastic review, and that's how we become number one best seller. Um, you know, Labco agent is the number one is the number one age, number one group uh, for realtors to talk about um, uh, all the tech gadget, right? and we got fantastic reviews. Um, actually, we're doing a webinar on web, web code agent. Uh, I believe it would be me and Tristan uh, for an hour just to talk, chat about the real estate industry and virtual tour solutions. You'll be next Monday. Uh, if you're on Lab Code agent group, I would love to see you on the webinar on Monday next week. Um, and these are just, you know, some, some of the media mentions, right? Like we were, uh, when we first went, when, when, when we launched our beta, we were mentioned in Forbes alongside with uh, 5G technology, paper thin TV, autonomous driving, and um, since we went on market, you know, we were voted to be uh, one of the most innovative company in real estate by Housing Wire, and we were mentioned in Inman um, many times. Um, and um, yeah, so now I want to share with you some best practices uh, after the intro about Astrum. So I'm assuming most of you are invited to this webinar because um, you are a member uh, and uh, of um, of Astro Room and you have a panel kit in, in hand or a 360 camera. So here are some of the best practice for you to shoot the best tour. Um, so uh, I think of Astro Room as a three-step process, right? Setting up, shooting, and uploading, right? So I'll break it down. Like these are the three things you need to watch out for uh, setting when you're setting up. Uh, number one is the phone position. If you have a Samsung, like if you have a phone with a camera that's right in the center of the phone, then you just align th that camera to the middle midpoint um, of the rotator. But if you have an iPhone, right, let's say the camera is on the one side, then you want to align, uh, you want to align the camera, phone camera to the nearest jaw clip, right? So uh, you don't want to push too much to the right because the phone will become unbalanced. Right, you want it to uh, align to the jaw clip so that it's uh, it's it's the phone the camera is close to the center of the rotator as possible, but at the same time it's also very balanced. Right, so uh, that's number one. Um, number two is uh, you want you need a good tripod, and we will be rolling out our Astrum tripod in a couple of weeks. But you know, like any tripod with three legs, are good tripods. Right, they just have to be stable because you know the panel kit takes night photos to stitch them into one 360 photo. So if you have a monopod, right, it can be wobbly as the phone, ro the rotator is rotating uh, because it's not very balanced. Um, and that's why sometimes you see the misalignment in photos. Uh, so I recommend definitely a three leg tripod, make sure the rotator is balanced. Um, and lastly, uh, I recommend getting an Astrum phone case. You can find it on our pay pricing page. It's only $10 uh, from Amazon. Um, and, uh, and that you can, you, instead of using the fisheye clip, you can use the phone case. So you always get a perfect alignment. With a fisheye, with, sorry, with a fisheye clip, it is, it is fine as it is. It just, it just have to be, you just have to be careful when you move the setup from room to room because it could slip, right? Once it slips, then you will start seeing uh, misalignment uh, in the photo, uh, in the stitching, photo st stitching of the photo. So get a phone case, snap it on when you need to use Astro Room and you always get a perfect alignment um, between the phone camera and the fisheye. Okay, um, is there any question here? Chris, no question? 
I, I see there's someone. It would have a question on if our system works with Insta 361R. Yes, you will. You will. We're integrating with them right now. Insta 361R is the newest Insta 360 camera. Uh, keep in mind that those 360 cameras only have, we'll have a slide to talk about as a panel kit versus 360 camera. But um, you, if, when you use your phone, right, you, you get a lot more in the resolution. Right? In the, all these phones that we have has been well optimized by Apple, um, Samsung, right? And these phones can't, like the camera on these phones are like are really expensive. They, are, they, have, they have really high 4K resolution. So when you use one R, one R it only has 12 megapixel, uh, whereas the, the panel kit with phone, it gives you 32 megapixel. So um, just put that in perspective, the Matterport Pro 2 camera is 40 megapixel. So if when you blow it up on the 4K, like IMAX screen, you will see in the Insta 361 R because it only has 12 megapixel, you see a little, it can be pretty pixelated. Um, have I seen anyone yet? I, I haven't really seen um, uh, an Astrium tour with Insta 361 R yet, but I, from my research, it shows that it's only 12 megapixel. So that's the trade-off that you know you will have. Uh, you will you, you can do you can do the tour faster with Insta 360, and a lot of photographers use it. Um, they use uh, the the one I recommend is the Ricoh Theta Z1. It's a thousand dollars, but the image quality is much better. Um, so. Uh, again, like I haven't seen Astro tour, Astro tour was Insta 361 R, so I, I I can't say. I just know that it's only 12 megapixel. Uh, I, I believe it's 200 dollars. Yeah, so it's it's 100 dollars off on Insta 361 X, um, and Insta, Insta 361 X is a better um, choice than Ricoh Theta V. Theta V is really not is not good at all. So Theta V is 13 megapixel, One uh, X is 18 megapixel. Any other question? All right, moving on. So, um, like as I said, right, like the creating Astron tour is a three-step process. So, number one step is setup, which we just went through. Um, I'll send you the slides, uh, just so you can you 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 don't have to take notes. You can review um, the points uh, in the last slide, um, and. Uh, after you set up, the next thing is shot selection, right? Where, where, where to take, uh, where to take the shots, and you can you can take as many as you want, um, but minimally, you we want you to maintain a line of sight. So, what does line of sight mean? And this is the most critical part of being successful with Astrum Tour is uh, you need to be able to see um, the spots. Uh, you, you, you need wherever you want to take the. Um, a photo you want you want to be able to see any other spots right so you can see in the graphic here like we have one to nine shots right for a four bedroom home right in order to take uh number four you, you started with one which is the entrance in order to take number four you have to take number three because that way you can see from three you can see one and from four you can see three Right, so uh, if you close the door, then we won't be able to, we won't, the AI will not know that where um, this room is uh, in a relationship with the other room. So we can't really stitch it up for you. So leave the door open and make sure you always take, a, take, a, take one photo um, before entering the room or whenever you make a turn in the hallway. Right, so um, is there any question with line of sight, what that means? Chris, you're muted. No questions have come in on this yet. Okay, no question coming on it. Okay, so basically, line aside just means that whenever you, before you go into the room, take one in the hallway. Whenever you make a left turn, right turn, take one um, at the turn, so you can see where you're coming. Where you, you can see where you you were coming from, and you can see where you're going to. Uh, so that's, I have a question. Should we start in a doorway? Should we always start in a doorway? before you enter a room or like, or like when you enter a home, yeah, you can always start at the entrance. It's just easy for you to, uh, to keep track where you have been, right? Start at the entrance of the floor, number one, of the first floor, right? And then move around, move to the living room and then move into the dining room, right? And then after you get everywhere, like in, in, on the first floor, 
the order doesn't matter. You just have to make sure you cover it, right? Actually, you get every, after you get everywhere on the first floor, you go back to the entrance that you can you know, start reviewing that did I get every single, um, every single room on the first floor? Then you move on to the second floor. Uh, so you don't matter. So you, so it's just, it's, you try to make it like, make it a circle, right? Go around the home and come back to the starting spot. But you want, if you want to start in the living room, it's not in the dining room, it doesn't matter. But starting, starting at um, the doorway is always, always good, right? Because that will be the first shot you take when you naturally walk into a home. Any other questions here? Hold on one second. Should we start from the outside of the property? Doesn't matter. You can, you can, it's up to you. Just don't forget, you know, like just, just have it written, right? If you want to start with outside and go inside, that's fine. Uh, if you want to start with inside and go outside, that's okay, right? Uh, what, is not, what is not good is you just go everywhere, right? You start from the entrance, you go to the second floor, you take a couple shots, you come back to the first floor, and you take a couple shots at the first floor, and you just think, oh, I might have to miss a, a bathroom on the second floor. And you go upstairs, like it's all messed up, right? So just have a just have a system. Whatever system that works for you is a good system, right? I would say start from the doorway and do the first floor first, and do the second floor, right? And uh, and do outside. Now that's what personally is what I would do. But it does, the order doesn't matter. Just make sure every single whenever you make a turn, uh, you take one at a turn. Okay. So um, the only exception that you don't have to take a panel every single turn of stairs, right? Because if you have a stair and you're actually making three turns from going up a first floor to second floor, you don't need, you don't need, like we, we actually know, we can identify like where the stair is. You don't have to take three shots along the stairway, right? Just take the landing, right? When you are, when you are, when you're going, you can, from the entrance, you can see where the stair is going up. And then on the second floor, you can just start with the landing. So you can see where the stair is leading to second floor, which panorama the stair is leading to second floor. Okay, so you don't need to mark any, you, know, you don't need to do any special marking. Um, and, and lastly, once you take the shots, uh, all you have to do is create a project. Uh, a lot of people get stuck in this step. It's like, oh, I just take, took all my shots. How do I uh, upload them? And uh, you can just, uh, you can use the, um, the plus sign in the homepage and uh, just click on that and to up and then give it a name and then upload all the panoramas uh, into the project. Um, or you can go to album and use the top right corner, the, the icon in the top right corner, uh, a plus sign, you can start a project by uploading entire album. So it's up to you. I like to use the plus sign in the homepage. Um, but uh, we, there are two ways you can create a project. Any, any question here? Okay, moving on. Um, so uh, I, would, I would capitalize on Aston Imaging Service. Um, uh, so, uh, this is the really uh, the, the uh, a, a very a very uh, unique uh, offering that we do uh, for um, a lot of because a lot of our users are agents. Uh, so uh, I we hear that often complaining is oh the photos don't look good. Um, we're not a professional photographer, so we actually have someone in house and uh, make your prof make your photo look bright. Um, and professional look professionally done. Um, it's one dollar per panel. You don't always have to do it, right? But let's say like you don't, you're, you're not happy with the quality of the photo you take, then uh, you can you can send it to us, uh, and uh, you can just order it in the app, and we'll take care of it for you. And uh, we can do two D floor plans too. Uh, we're integrating um, with our app right now, but we we were able to do that. Um, pricing is like still TBD. But we basically will convert your 2D, a 2D dollhouse into a 2D floor plan. And, um, and right now, uh, you just have to email us. Uh, you can email me directly. Or you can email sales uh, at astroom.com. Um, my email is eric at astroom.com, E-R-I-C astroom.com. And I'll forward it to the team who can take care of your floor plan. 
um, and lastly, really exciting that we're going to start doing 3D staging very soon. You can see the top, the, those two panoramas are the same panel. Uh, it's just before and after staging. Uh, you can see it's messy, and then we can just make it all go away, disappear, and then and then we can also put furniture in. So um, if you're a realtor, you think that you, the home can use some staging, remove some like furniture. Um, well, we can do it. Uh, it would be sixty-five dollars per room. It's not it's not as affordable as I would like to make it to be, but uh, it's hard work. Uh, I saw at Photoshop and the stagers basically had to clean up all the, the mess in one in one room and then put more, put new furniture in, uh, make them look good. Okay. Any questions with add-on service? Let's wait 30 seconds. Nothing's come in yet. Okay. So um, hotspot, right? And uh, what is hotspot? Um, Hold on, we got a question here. Okay. So the question is, so is 2D floor plan currently available or is the date still to be determined as well? It's available, it's available. It's just right now we're trying to get the self-service flow set up in the app, right? So going forward, you'll be able to order floor plan, like how you order the retouch, uh, retouch like the retouch and dollhouse. Um, right now, it's we're offering, um, and you just have to email us, and then we, we can connect you with the team that's doing it. Um, it's just a, a bit of manual process that we have to send you an invoice, you have to pay, right? it hasn't really integrated with the app yet, but we're working on it. Uh, but we can do that right now. You have to get a dollhouse first. We create a dollhouse, and then uh, we will convert that into a floor plan. We got another question here. How about the measurements? Oh, you will have it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, uh, so so measurements. Um, we're experimenting to see if we can put it on. And uh, right now, I can't tell you if there will be measurements or not. Uh, I will say that you probably will be some measurements, um, but um, I I don't have a definite answer yet. Okay, so moving on. Um, so uh, I want to de demo you, uh, show you how to use hotspot and, and create tags um, in the listing. Um, so rather than having a slide, it's better for me to just do a live demo of how to do it. And uh, what is hotspot? Hotspot is when you um, don't want to order a dollhouse, right? Because when you order a dollhouse, we stitch it up for you into this nicely looking 3D floor plan, a 3D dollhouse. And we also like, uh, include um, all the transitions for you between the panoramas that you take to, that you took. But let's say if you don't want to order a dollhouse and you want to just stitch it up yourself, uh, then you will use this feature called hotspot. So um, so I can let me go log into my Astrum account. Actually I have it right here. So again we want you we want our mission was to make this really easy. So we want you to just take the take the photos, upload, and forget it. Um, but you know, if you don't want to order a dollhouse, you think you have a two-bedroom apartment, the layout is pretty straightforward. Uh, you just want to stitch it up yourself. Then this is how you do it. Um, so I'll go into one of my uh, tour. Um, so I'll just click in. And by the way, we have a new UI, the new interface. Um, so this is my uh, this was just updated a couple of days ago. It might look a little new and strange to you, but I personally like the new design a lot. So you can see this, um, the red dots are like basic transition point, and this is what we call hotspot. So this is what in the preview, right? This, if you're a buyer is landing on this tour, you'll see the tag, there's a little error, and they can move into different rooms, right? So um, those, are, those are called hotspots. So let me move back, I click this, I'll go back to the edit mode, and then now I want to show you how to delete them and add them back. So if I click on this, I delete it, delete, delete. Right now, if I go back to preview, I can't go anywhere. Right, so this is, I can't go to like any uh, other panoramas. Besides, I can only use the, the, um, the, uh, uh, the bottom. Um, uh, I don't even know what it's called, the collections, the panel collections. So, so that's to so go back to this edit mode, right? I want to do a hotspot add. So now I want to pick a room that I want to connect to. 
right? I'm in the entrance and I, I know the other shot that I took uh, was in the middle, um, call it living. Um, so I just click next, right? And then I move around this red dot to see where I want the arrow to be, right? So here, and then the same thing, I would set the, the, uh, the bottom screen is a return hotspot, right? So I want a user to be able to return to where they come from, right? It's always a pair. You have a go and you have a comeback, right? So the first one is to go for go, and um, this, the bottom one is for going back, right? And then click next, right? And then this is a viewing angle. So what do you want user to see uh, when they uh, enter uh, the room? So usually the default is pretty good. So um, the top one is when you when you enter from the living to entrance, you should see the door, right? And from entrance to living, you're supposed to see the fridge, right? And this closet here. Okay, so I click done. Okay, so I go to preview. Let me move there. Right, and I see the door and fridge. Let's say like, I actually want the viewer to see where they come from. Instead of seeing a fridge, I want, to see, want, to, want them to see the entrance. How do I do that? So you just change the viewing angle. So usually the viewing angle is default to be whatever it is in the back. Um, but let's just say like, I want them to see um, the, uh, where they come from. So add a hotspot and do uh, living right here, and then a return here. And I want, to, well, I want them to be able to see where I come from, right? So here, and I revert 180 degree. And click done, right? So I'll go to preview. So now I will be able to see where I come from, like that. Right, so um, again, the viewing. How do you set up multiple hotspots if you have a room that goes to multiple areas? Just uh, set up multiple hotspots. So here, do another hotspot, and then the, other, the only one, because we already have a hotspot that's going to the living room, so that is not an option anymore. So I want to set up to go to bathroom, right? So I set up here, and from the bathroom, I can't really see the entrance, right? So. This is not ideal because the viewer will be confused of how I can fly through the wall. Right? Usually you want them to go to the living area and to go to the door, but as I just say, I just want to do it and it's okay, right? So done, okay. Now I have two and then preview. Go to the bathroom here. And now you can see I can return back to the entrance, but then I'm flying through the wall. That makes sense? So usually I wouldn't mess with the viewing angle. If you think viewing angle is confusing, you can just ignore it. And the, the default one usually is good. Um, is what the default one usually is what you want, right? So you just set hotspot, I just delete it to the living. I set hotspot to living. And then I just point where living is and point back to where the door is. And I just, the default is good. So I just click done, right? So go to preview, living, return, right? Again, if you order the dollhouse, we'll do this all for you automatically. But just say you only want to use it. If you don't, if you don't want to pay for a dollhouse, no, you just want to stitch it out yourself. Similarly, uh, you can add uh, a tag, right? So right here, I, I delete this and I'll add it back, okay? I can add object, right? So I wanna add the tag. Let's say I had just, this fridge is new, this microwave is new. Uh, I want people to see it. So I'll give it brand new microwave description, LG 2018. Right, and I'll choose the icon. Usually I is for information. You can use this as well, but you know, I'll use I. You can insert images, link, audio, whatever. 
Um, but as I said, I just want a description to, to show off this fridge, uh, for the microwave. Okay, done, right? So there's the icon and move it here, All right? And then one, two, this is a little too big. So I'll move it backward, a little, uh, forward a little bit and make it smaller. Okay. And then put it right here. All right, so and I go to preview. And you see this um, call to action, jumping, click on it, brand new microwave. Right. So, but once you move into the next panel, uh, the, the, the tag is gone. So um, you can only set it, the tag per, per panorama. Any questions with adding hotspot, adding tags? How do we toggle the navigation speed for the end user? Navigation speed, what do you mean by that? Like, it's, 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 you can, the user can just move around and hone the speed they want, right? I want to go slow, I want to go fast, right? So what, what, is the, what is the question? Mike, if you can add more details, that'd be helpful. Any other questions on how to use any functionality in the desktop editor? The mobile is the same thing. It's just, the concept is the same. Um, I'm just demoing using, using uh, the desktop version. A few more questions just came in. Will we ever be able to change the look of the arrow? Maybe a different color or different arrow design? Uh, no. Um, everybody you know, have different tastes with the arrow. Like, it used to look different. Some people want it bigger. Some people want a different color. Um, I, unless, unless, you know, you guys um, really um, passionate about it. And, Happy, happy to take feedback, right? Is it too big, too small? <laughs> so, uh, but I, I want everybody to have the same arrow. Yeah, it's just so. I don't want to make the app too more complex than it is right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's always a trade-off between complexity and functionality and simplicity. So, um, I know we don't have a plan of changing the error. How do we get to the desktop software? Uh, go on sroom.com and uh, login, top right. All right. How do we add object features? No, oh, uh, like what kind of object do you want to add? <laughs> Maybe just show a, a sample. Yeah, you can add an image. Right? I want to put my business card in here. Add business card. So you know the MLS will not like it because they consider branded, right? Let's move it a little backward, forward, backward. Up, oh, moving on the, um, on the, on the wall. I think rotate it. But does that? I want it right here on the on this floor right here. That makes sense. Yeah, here. You can add a lot of different things. You can add video too. Um, and if you have, you go to IKEA, download a 3D object, you can insert it as well. But it's not gonna look good because it's not Photoshop, right? If you want to actually want to do 3D staging. It's just better to find like a like an actual 3D stager to do it to make it look good. I can show you what it looks like here. We did this. So this is an empty home. Okay. So this is the entrance. We're going from the entrance of the home. It looks empty, right? There's nothing. Uh, and then you can you see living room virtual staging. You can see all this furniture we're putting. Right, it looked very real. Uh, yeah, they would do a good job photoshopping it. And then go to the hallway, right? And then you see an empty room, virtual staging room. Pretty cool, right? So we can remove furniture for you too. Um, so again, you can help you win the listing presentation, go to your seller, be like, hey, not only am I gonna do a virtual tour for you, I'm gonna virtually stage it for you. Right, because it's proven that a staging a stage home sell better. 
we got more offers because uh, people can actually see the potential of this home. Okay, any question around adding stuff? You can add a video, you can add a video of yourself and you can add it like right here on the screen and people can click to play. Do a bonbon bon video or, you know, like there's something interesting about this property. You can, if you have a video uh, about this neighborhood, you can edit here. Last question we have, do we, do you have any recommendations on sites to download good background music? No. Or will we be providing that in the future? Uh, I, maybe, that's a good idea. I just, I, I don't use that feature. No. Okay, so uh, keep going. So now you have a tour. I, assuming you stitch it up yourself or you, you hire us to stitch it up for you to turn it into a 3D dollhouse, right? You have a tour now. So you want, you, you create a tour, you want a tour to, to be seen, right? So that's the whole point of creating them in the first place. So this is how you share it, right? So you go to the, the setting, enable sharing, and you can see this, this icon lit up, click that, and then you can share a link, copy the clipboard, you can share, right? And you can share it uh, on your MLS, right? And those, uh, the links will get propagated to Zillow, um, Refin, as, as a, with a data feed um, between MLS and portals. And a lot of people are saying, okay, like I want people to, I want more people to visit my tour, right? Because uh, the links are not very easy to find. And I was just telling them, you can just easily, um, uh, in, uh, include one of the photo of the dollhouse, right? So if you, your buyer will click through the photos and see that, oh, there's a, there's a dollhouse, right? There's a 3D model, they'll go look for that link. And we're also working on integrations with like realtor.com and Redfin so that they'll get a better placement. But for now, like just use, um, just use a 2D dollhouse 2D photo and put it as one of the last photo. If someone they click through the photo, they will know that, hey, I gotta go check out this tour. Any question here? What does transfer project mean? And can you go over the features on the dots? And I believe they mean the three dots on the right. Transfer feature mean, like if you want to transfer a project to someone else that yeah, using as through. Let's say if you're a photographer, you did a tour, you want to pass to the agent and you transfer. If you're an agent, you want to pass it to another agent or, you know, like, so it just, you can transfer it to another as through user. Edit tour cover. Uh, edit tour cover is basically what you see here, uh, like the thumbnail of the tour. Uh, tour setting, we can, we, we'll go into tour setting a little bit. Do you have a best practice for the thumbnail cover? Use whatever that looks good. Uh, like use, a, use the outdoor. Um, use the one that uh, shot from outdoor so people can see what the home uh, looks like or use a living room whatever room that looks the best. All right, so exciting part, right? So uh, the whole point of sh doing all these is so you can get your brand out there, right? Make your seller happy, win more listings. Um, so we give you this teaser video that basically is automatic generated video that you can put on social media, right? Boost it, right? Put some money in it, um, you know, include a link to the actual tour so people then you can actually go into the tour um, from your post. Okay. But uh, this is MP4, right? So you can just, oops, sorry. Uh, you can just post it as a video. Um, do something with it, post it on your Instagram. All right, cool, going forward. You need, you need to have a dollhouse um, to, to, uh, to get this video because the whole video is spinning a dollhouse and going to one of the room. Okay, so. Check your analytics, right? After you share your tour, a really important part is understanding the data. Um, and here's how you do it. Go to this uh, icon with three people in it. And you can see all this exciting uh, data, right? Where they come from, like how many visitors you got, what are the popular panels, where they, what they refer traffic, right? What are location? Right. If you put on, put on Facebook, you can calculate some ROI 
Um, you say, I put $10 on boost the post, I got 500 views. You send this, take a screenshot, send it to your seller, right? So make them happy. So, oh, I got 500 visitors that come to my, um, come, come to my, um, my virtual showing. Where do you see most viewers seeing success sharing it online? Uh, you know, I worked at Facebook. I always, I, Facebook is my go-to uh, marketing um, engine. Um, and, but it's only if you know how to use Assistant, right? So um, I, I think you can get really decent impressions uh, on Facebook, but you have to know how to use Assistant. Right? Again, I'm gonna recommend um, you to go to professionals they can help you with it rather than just spending $30, $50 here and there on boosted posts. Um, it will be, it will be, a, a, uh, it, it could be like a money suck if you don't know what you're doing and how to calculate ROI. So I think it might be worthwhile to uh, visit, uh, you know, talk to our partners like Home ASAP, um, uh, Y Lobo. Um, I will send out, you know, some the landing pages, info about them um, after, uh, with uh, this deck. Uh, but. I think Facebook, you could get really good impressions. Um, again, I'm not a realtor, so I don't have experience with, uh, with listing ads on Zillow or Redfin or realtor.com, but um, I recommend Facebook. Um, I, some, oh, some agents use HomeSnap. Uh, again, I, I never used it, so I, I can't comment. All right, so some common questions. Uh, panel kit versus 360 cameras. I think we briefly touched upon it, right? Uh, you uh, you get higher resolution using panel kit. Uh, get a phone case, so the highest, the best image resolution. Uh, unless you really care about the speed, um, or from whatever reason you want to look, you're a photographer, you want to look professional. Uh, get a Z1, a thousand dollars. If you have a 360 camera, it's really fast because um, one shot is you you spend more time turning on lights and turning off lights. Um, than actual shooting if you have a 360 camera. Um, how do you get highest, best photo quality? If you have uh, a newer phone, iPhone XS or higher, uh, iPhone XS or higher, uh, you can turn on the HDR feature. Um, it, will, uh, it, will, it will fix uh, the, wind, uh, the blowout window, uh, blown out window uh, issue some people have. Uh, also pick a time to go to the listing, right? Go when it's bright, but don't have, not the brightest, like when lighting is quite important. I like to go during the middle of the day when the sun is like right on top, so it's not shining to any window. I like to go early in the morning or late in the afternoon um, when you get like really nice natural light, uh, but without too much sunlight coming into the window. Um, uh, so uh, use HDR, go during the right time. Don't go in a groomy day. Um, you know, that you're gonna get a groomy photo. Um, so, uh, and also if you have a fisheye clip, make sure that it's uh, aligned with the phone camera, uh, get a phone case, you'll resolve this issue. Uh, you always get a perfect alignment and also like use the level function or just make sure that just your tripod is level, not wobbly, right? If, it, if it's, if it's tilted one way, your filter is going to look tilted, obviously. Um, so use the level function and just to make sure that the phone is sitting at uh, level. Okay, any question here? Give it a minute here. Um, we did have a question about uh, the pixels and will the clip work for it? Do you have a phone case coming? Yeah, we don't have a phone case for Pixel, but the fortunate part is uh, Pixel actually worked quite well uh, with the phone with the phone clip. The the cameras that pop out, like iPhone XS, are the ones that really need a phone case because it's hard to clip them. But the Pixel, usually the, the camera is flat, so it's actually quite well, it's quite easy to clip. clip. We don't have a phone case for Pixel just because we don't have enough user with Pixel phones. Uh, so we have to prioritize uh, getting uh, Galaxy, uh, Note, and, uh, and iPhones. Uh, we, have, we should have a model for all of those. Okay. Anything else? Nothing yet. I think you're good. Okay. So use HDR, go in the right time. 
um, you get a phone case and make sure the phone is level. Again, I'll send the slide deck out so you can review on uh, the points. Pricing explain. So a lot of people uh, know they get confused with pricing. So basically, you pay the the monthly fee is hosting, right? So uh, the, when you and it's month by month, uh, unless you get yearly plan. When your membership expire, nothing will happen. It's just your tour will not be be visited. You cannot like when someone click on the link you send it to them, they they will go to Astrum's homepage. Um, so if you have a listing, make sure your membership is, is active. Uh, but your project will not get deleted. They will stay with you in there um, and until you need them again. Um, and the dollhouse retouch are uh, extra. Um, so the dollhouse, you know, we recently lowered the price. So they are actually very affordable. They are usually within $20. Um, uh, and I think it's worth the trouble because when you hire someone for come in to do a Matterport scan, it's at least 200, 250 bucks to start. So um, I think you should, everybody should always get a dollhouse, but, uh, but you know, like everyone's different, right? That's all. So retouch is, uh, is optional, only if you, you know, want your photo look even better, it's $1 per panel. And the 2D floor plan virtual staging will all be optional as well. Um, so um, is there any question around here, pricing? Is there a way to set HDR as default in your application? Uh, good question. Uh, eventually, yes. Uh, we, we will allow that feature. Uh, so we roll out things in phases, right? We roll out the new HDR and now we will make them default in the next update. But yeah, eventually, yes. Oh, and what, speaking of which, how do you, when you're shooting with HDR, uh, you want to point, you want to aim, like start at somewhere that is bright, but not the brightest. And the reason is that it gives your phone a chance to detect um, what bright is like and what dark is, right? If you point it at somewhere dark, when it rotates to somewhere that's really bright, the phone will not have the opportunity to adjust. So you want to start point at somewhere that's bright, but don't point out the window, which is the brightest because if you point out the brightest spot, the phone would not be able to detect what, what dark is, how dark it is in the dark part. So point somewhere bright, uh, but not the brightest. Uh, another great question here. Can we create a video to show people how it's like using VR Google experiences? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, not a priority, but, um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. If you, if you have a Google Cardboard, you can view the tour uh, in a VR world. Um, but uh, to create a video, I, I think so. Yeah, eventually we should, we should advertise that, that you know, it's VR compatible. Uh, I have a support question. Um, someone is saying that they are getting notifications that the cap is on and the room is dark when that is not actually the case. Is this something you've experienced or should I direct to support? Uh, yeah, direct to support and that's uh, uh, a screenshot will be helpful. Okay, moving how on. How much do we charge for virtual staging? Uh, $65 per room. That does not include removing furniture. So removing furniture is like another $20, $30, depending on how much stuff there is in there. So it's just 65 for charging an empty home. And we can do this when and how should we contact to get this started? You can contact our team. So sales at astronaut.com or contact me personally. I'll point it to the right person. Um, and then we can, we just don't have the flow yet, but we have started taking requests. So if you want it, just email me. I'll, for your email to someone, someone will contact you. Uh, he will look at your tour and he will just, you know, you guys can work it out what style is on there. Is it? Okay. So how to create a 2D flow? Which, yes. Last question here. Uh, which setting do you recommend? 20 seconds or 60 seconds for the rotator? The uh, it doesn't matter. Those are those, those buttons don't work anymore. Uh, everything is controlled by the app. So uh, it, they're the same. Okay. Um, how to create a 2D floor plan. 
Um, so the full pen feature will be deprecated soon. There's a full pen feature. It's hard to use. I personally don't use it. I, I lose patience. So uh, knowing that no one can use that really that well, that feature, it really may, may give me the conviction that we just got to do it for you. Um, and we can convert it through, uh, thanks to technology that we invest in, uh, we can now convert the 3D dollhouse into 2D full plans. We have a couple of different full plan options. I don't know about dimensions. We're still experimenting with dimensions, um, but uh, uh, it will look somewhere like this. Okay, so um, don't worry about floor plans anymore if you want it. Uh, it's worth the trouble to just email us. And this is the same thing as uh, the 3D staging that you know we are rolling this out. And uh, right now we don't have uh, a flow in the app yet, uh, but we will. Uh, if you want this, email uh, email us, um, and then I will direct you to the right person. How do Postman tour on Zillow? I think we talked about this, um, but this is a common question. Just get the link to the MLS. Uh, MLS will send a link to Zillow in the data exchange uh, uh, feed. And uh, just include, if you want people to know that there's a virtual tour in a link, um, just include uh, a dollhouse. And then we are doing native tour rendering um, with the following portals. Uh, you can see Zillow is not up here yet. Um, you know, they are hard to deal with. I'm sure you guys have all experienced that at some point in your career. Um, so, um, but yeah, this works is, uh, the work is being taken in, is in place right now. Any question here? No. Okay. Can I sell Astrum as a service? Uh, sure. Um, we don't stop you. Uh, a lot of photographers, you're an agent, you want to help other agents out, go for it. Um, you know, there's no agreements that you can't sell to any other agent. Um, if you're a photographer, feel free to sell your service um, to agents. Um, usually they charge 100 to 150 for a deep, like a normal home. But um, every it's, it's always different uh, depending on the market you're in, um, and uh, your relationship with the photographer, I guess. Okay. Uh, dollhouse delivery time. Uh, we finally caught up with our demand, so now this is the metrics: sixty percent of dollhouse can be delivered in twenty-four hours, eighty percent of delivers forty-eight, ninety-five percent of delivered within seventy-two. And we're still improving it um, as we go. And the 5% that are not delivered in 72 hours usually have is something wrong with the panorama. Um, you know, like the, some of the panels you took, the agents took are just really not leveled and we really can't do much with them. So we have to return the project to you. Any question with dollhouse delivery time? So they're faster now and they're cheaper. And we'll continue working on optimizing this. How to uh, do an unbranded versus branded tour. So, um, so go to tour setting and then display my profile on, off, on, off, and just save it. Okay. How to change my profile, right? That's my, your brand basically. So go to profile. And then you can see my name is Eric Duck right now. I'm gonna change to Eric Sai, the right name, and I give you my phone number. Save. So when you do display your profile, this is a new profile. You can put right now. I have the Astroom logo as my icon. You can put your photo there. Any question with branded tour? Cool. Yeah. I think we this covers everything. Um, so any other question that I didn't cover um, that you really want to get it asked? Um, we've got, if my broker signs up, will we each have our own tour sites so they don't accidentally get deleted from by other agents? I think they're talking about uh, how to natively render it on personal websites. Doesn't sound like that. Doesn't sound like a question. Um, I think the question is: If my broker sign up a broker plan, can I can I prevent other agents mess with my tour? Right? I think 
uh, if you sign, if your broker sign up for a broker plan, they can enroll you into the broker plan, and each agent has a sub account within the broker plan, and um, you, you're the, you, no one can delete your tour, even the brokers cannot. It just they, the brokers just pay for you. Yep, that was the the question I was uh, they were trying to ask. Uh, next one. Can we do a branded versus unbranded from the same panos if you do your own? Uh, we will for the same for the same tour, right? Can you have a branded tour and unbranded tour? Uh, right now, we will have to basically copy and duplicate your tour. So one of them is branded, one of them is unbranded. In the future, we will be able to uh, to do both unbranded and branded tour from the same. Um, from the same tour, from the same project. But right now it's either or. Cool. Um, no more questions, then we will end here. Um,